Hi, I'm Steven Sprinkle. This is Morning Bit. Let's get to it. Top three things I think are important today for Bitcoin, the first of which is coming out of Mt. Gox. Now, you've probably heard of everything that's been going on, but what I'm going to try to do is deconstruct what Mt. Gox said as well as what the community is saying in response to that. So first off, Mt. Gox is saying that because of a technical flaw inside the protocol for Bitcoin, specifically around transactions, there's potential manipulation that's possible when doing a uh, transaction with a Bitcoin. And that's the justification that Mt. Gox is giving for why they're blocking Bitcoin transaction withdrawals. Um, and they've been doing this since late January. Um, so it's been quite a bit of time. Now the community's response, and specifically the Bitcoin Foundation's response, is that this is really a non-issue. Uh, it's something that's been known since about 2011, and it's something that they've been advising against doing when you're tracking transactions. And specifically, uh, they advise against using transaction IDs because of the potential manipulation, manipulation that's possible uh, when tracking those. So it's looking like, you know, best case scenario, Mt. Gox made a, a simple technical mistake. Worst case, uh, they were negligent in their implementation of the technology. Uh, I don't necessarily want to say either way because I don't necessarily have specific information in the insides of how they're actually developing out their platform. But what this potentially is doing is one, it's already affecting the price of Bitcoin, and then two, it's probably going to kill Mt. Gox. Um, people are really flooding away from them as fast as possible. And if they ever do open up withdrawals again, most people are probably going to jump ship. Um, so it's it's really interesting to see what's happening in the exchange space right now, specifically as the number one player is now continually sliding down, which is it's sad to see, but with these kind of problems, it's, it's understandable. Second thing that I think is really important today is all the news that's been coming out recently with arrests connected to uh, local Bitcoin's transactions. Now, why this is important is because FinCEN's fairly clear on their regulation around uh, what you need to do if you're doing fiat to Bitcoin, Bitcoin to fiat exchange. And uh, if you are doing that, there's a number of things you actually have to collect. And these individuals weren't collecting that information and reporting it. So it's, it's pretty straightforward why they were arrested. Um, and it's really clearly showing that law enforcement is starting to understand the space more and actually starting to crack down. So be careful if you're doing transactions. I've done local Bitcoin transactions and I'm not registered, but uh, going forward, I probably won't be doing many, if any. Um, so just, I encourage everybody to be careful. The third thing that I think is important today for Bitcoin is a product called Hive Wallet. And it's for OS X. Um, and it's a really cool, simple application that allows you to do Bitcoin transactions as well as bring in other major apps from the Bitcoin economy and do simple transactions through them as well. So it's a really nice little app that's progressing the idea of the wallet along. Um, so check it out. I hope everybody's having a great day. As you'll notice, I've got a different backdrop today. I've got things starting to be set up the way I want them in the new office. Um, as you can see, it's a lot bigger space as well, so it'll allow me to put more behind me. Um, so I'm excited for that. I hope everybody's having a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.